GBP volatility to remain high <laughs> as the EU and the UK are due to sit down and start formal negotiations. Yes, hmm. So due to start formal negotiations um, because remember, Britain now has to try and get a deal uh, in place regarding trade with the EU. Now, in a, a, a run up to this, we've seen relationship and, and talks, rhetoric that all remain sour oh, between the two. Britain has set, um, you know, what it wants, right? Britain knows what it wants, um, but at the moment, the EU don't want to bow down to everything that Britain is essentially demanding. Um, and at the end of the day, the EU want to make an example out of Britain. They don't just want any other country to just think, Do you know what, let's leave the EU as well because we can get a good deal like Britain are. are, are. You know, they want to make things tough. They want to make things easy and, you know, look, when it comes to politicians, these guys are so egotistic, it's off, it's unbelievable, it's off the scale. It's not, you know, most of the time, look, this is my view, most of the time it isn't just about, um, it isn't just about what's in the best interest of the economy, what's in the best interest of the country, it's in the best interest of this particular politician and their party, right? Not, maybe not even sometimes their party, just about them, themselves and their ego. Anyway, look, getting back to the point, most recently we saw some comments coming out of EU chief Brexit negotiator, Michel Barnier. And he was just saying that Britain could get a super preferential deal, but basically, you know, there's a lot of conditions that must be met because initially GDP did spike, but then markets remembered, you know what? The EU has some strict, uh, you know, um, negotiation plans uh, set out for the UK. You know, it's gonna, the UK are gonna have to really bow down. And right now, they are not showing that they will, okay? And remember what Boris Johnson said, if they don't get a deal that they're happy with, they'll just walk away from negotiation, just like that. Just like that, of course. So, and then that would be an absolute catastrophe because then Britain won't have a deal with the EU, which would kill um, the economy, It'd kill a lot of businesses, um, so forth in the economy. Um, so keep an eye on that. The talks are due to begin next week. So expect some high volatility, guys. Be aware, please. Um, you know, talks are going to be made very difficult, as Barnier said. Any GDP positions that you have, just remember, if you're trying to go long, Yes, technically it may make sense, but know that fundamentally you are um, you are trading against uh, the fundamental bias, which remains capped to upside. Rallies are being sold uh, because things are very shaky and, and uncertain between those two. Okay, so do keep that in your head. Okay, um, other than that, guys, freaknetwork.io that is the place to be. You may um, you know in terms of all these updates. Yes, at times we do post. Um, fill you in after big events have happened. Maybe sometimes if you're lucky, give you a little bit of a, a heads up beforehand. But if you want this stuff every single day, living and breathing, and actually um, you know, implement into the charts what we're looking at in terms of trade setups, so on and so forth, guys, check out our membership, freaknetwork.io. Other than that, that's it from me. Let's get it. Skrrr!